the data validation uh, things what it uh, does um, it gives you for example in any cell if you want to restrict uh, a particular number for example if you want to uh, give an input uh, to a cell uh, and if you do, don't want to make mistake then data validation is an important tool but in this case i will show you data validation drop down list by using a list we can uh, show a data validation drop down list so if you see this um, uh, file so you will be able to see that this is uh, this is a property uh, you want to calculate the property cost for example installment loan so how much installment fee you will pay and there are some property taxes utilities home insurance and service charge so this um, sale will show you your monthly expenses including the monthly um, installment so the input we have uh, is the purchase price um, and here is the, um, the tax rate um, and we have a down payment which is 10% uh, and you can see here is a drop down list I can select 5% down payment I can select 20% down payment I can select 10% down payment so as I'm selecting it's getting uh, the monthly expenses are uh, changing uh, similarly I can uh, decide on what length I will use so 15 20 versus uh, 25 so depending on the uh, interest rate you choose depending on the drop down uh, from the drop down menu depending on the interest that you choose depending on the down payment you choose you can calculate the um, um, uh, loan amount and also the monthly installment loan amount is nothing but uh, it is calculating from the down payment because if you give 10 percent down payment then purchase price will be uh, and purchase price is eight lakh so after 10 percent down payment your loan amount is seven hundred and twenty thousand so for monthly uh, installment i uh, use the pmt function so this is something i'll show you um, at this moment so here, if you want to calculate the monthly uh, uh, installment, so monthly for monthly installment, we have to use the PMT function. So it, the syntax will be equal to PMT. So whenever you type PM, it automatically comes in and you can uh, press tab um, at your uh, keyboard. So first they want is the rate. And since our, our interest rate is yearly, we have to uh, decide, we have to divide it by 12. So at this moment, you see there is no interest rate. Here is zero, but we will create a drop down list later so let's click here it is shown as zero but we, we can um, include the drop down later so we divide so let's put the formula first so divide uh, it by 12 so it is the interest rate. then n power means the number of period so number of period it will be the term of the length for example if it is 20 years then it will be multiplied by uh, 12 uh, then we need uh, the present value uh, the present value of the loan amount so at this moment, I uh, yet to show any down payment. So loan amount is shown as 8 lakh, but um, when I give down payment of 10%, it will show as uh, 720,000. Uh, then I need to give a uh, future value. I assume this is um, uh, uh, this is uh, a fully amortized loan. So in case of fully amortized loan, uh, there is uh, no future value, so which is zero. And I'm assuming this is an annuity ordinary, so I'll pay on an end of the period uh, basis. So if I close the bracket and and, and uh, put enter, it shows us nothing because I uh, haven't shown any down payment. So I'm giving down payment 10%, interest rate, for example, 5%, and uh, for example, 20 years is the uh, term of the length. So you can see that monthly installment amount will be uh, 4752. Since it's a negative number, um, I can uh, put a negative number here uh, before PMT. So I can show it as a positive number. Then you have the property taxes, utilities, home insurance and service charges so total monthly expenses will be 5385 uh, per month is the dollar amount so i would like to uh, create a drop down list here and i'll uh, do the sensitivity analysis through uh, the drop down list so for that we have to go to the data tab so from the data tab you will see uh, a data validation um, the data validation uh, list so from data validation drop down menu you will find that uh, any value so but we will select the list so if we select the list then it asks us the source what are the sources so we can select a source for example we could put the numbers in the excel worksheet or we, we can give the numbers for example here we are giving a down giving a down payment so down payment can be for example say 10 percent um, uh, comma say 20 percent and say 25 percent 
Then I once click OK, you can see there is a drop down. And as I select 20%, the numbers get changed. So the higher the drop down, uh, the higher the down payment, your monthly expenses will be lower because your loan amount gets uh, lower. So similarly, we can do this for interest rate as well. So here it is 5%. I can show like what we, what will be the interest rate, say, for example, 4%, uh, 3%. So again, data validation. We will do the same process, list. And we'll source, for example, we can give 3%, comma, 4%, comma, 5%. And OK. So you will see, again, this is 5% interest rate. And if I click 4%, it is 4269. If I click 3%, the monthly expenses getting changed. Similarly, that we, we, we can do it for um, uh, term of the lend. Uh, we'll select the same process, list. And from the source, um, uh, the term of the lend, for example, uh, 15 years, 20 years, or 25 years. If I click OK, you can see that uh, 25 at 25% uh, down payment, 3% interest rate, 20 year. Uh, term of the lend, uh, my monthly expense is uh, 3961. If I give lower amount of down payment, 16%, uh, interest rate is, for example, uh, if interest rate increases to 5%, and if term of the lend is uh, 25, uh, then we can see that our monthly expenses increases to uh, 4,842. Uh, 4, uh, obviously, monthly, monthly installment is 409, and property taxes, utilities, home insurance, and other service charges added uh, to my total monthly expenses. So this is how we can uh, create a data validation um, uh, drop down. Um, uh, so after this, I will show another drop down using that will be a dependent drop down. So if I calculate the dependent drop down, so let's go back to the uh, dependent drop. So a dependent drop down list, if I go to the table of contents and click the dependent drop down list here. So you will see that uh, this is a list. So this is a list of um, a company has a summer season and they sell some sports or do some sports activities. And there are a lot of people um, who are uh, playing. So they have different types of sports, summer, winter. So if you go back, go up to the down. So there are two things, summer and winter. And you have sports, so different types of sports like uh, speed skating, archery and etc. So what I can do, I can uh, create, a first, of, first of all, I can create a filter. So by selecting the whole uh, table from data, I can create filter. So if I click on filter, you will see that there's a filter button. So summer and winter, and there are a lot of sports. You can see that uh, sports like um, archery, athletes, badminton, baseball, and so on. And there are a lot of players. So what I would like to do, I would like to select uh, summer here and I would like to see a drop down where it will show that only the summer sports and what I want to do I will select from here like uh, winter uh, and it will sh this list will show the uh, winter sports like for example uh, if you see this one this is the completed version so you will see 